Hello Lord of the Rings fans, Ryan the Cyber Hobbit here, time for another 1-6 scale figure unboxing. This is the second Crown series release from Asmus Toys, Gandalf the White. Show yourself! Now from past experiences, <clears throat> Balrog, I've learned that photos from Asmus can be deceiving, but if this figure lives up to the images going around the net, this has the potential to be the greatest Asmus figure of all time. Not to say this will be the best Gandalf, as Queen Studios seems to be putting on the pressure for Asmus, but perhaps it could be the greatest Gandalf the White. Until maybe Queen Studios gives it a go. Anyways, let's get into it. The Crown series usually comes with a bit of an extra something, and in this case, it's the Lord of All Horses, Shadowfax. To be completely honest, I don't really care to get a horse, but this is the only way to order this figure, so hey, why not? Something I do give Asmus credit for is the packaging for their Crown series has really been top notch. I much prefer to have these nice foam cutouts than just a big piece of molded plastic. It really helps to give this a very prestige feeling, and it holds on to parts much better. As usual, let's begin by examining the head sculpt. And it looks like the pictures were not lying. This is crazy good. It's so clearly Sir Ian McKellen. The wrinkles and creases on his face are very well done, and the paint job is superb. It's very clear a lot of care went into making this. If I had to give any complaint, I would say perhaps his eyes could be a bit lighter shade of blue, but still, this is very impressive. It's not always easy to get rooted hair to look natural, but they seem to have done an excellent job with this. It's incredibly realistic and adds an extra level of detail that makes it seem like it came right out of the films. Here's to hoping I don't mess it up. One of the things Asmus has always been pretty good at is the clothing for their figures, and this one is no exception. As expected for a white wizard, his robe is made up of multiple layers that each have a unique pattern and stitching. A few of them have the silver colored embroidery along the edges. This looks great. I wouldn't know if the layers underneath are accurate or not, but this looks to me like how I would imagine it. That is one tiny zipper. His boots look pretty nice. Real metal eyelets and a silver gray pair of shoelaces. Like with most Asmus figures, this is poseable and it has over 36 points of articulation, though I haven't counted. I always wonder why they choose to say over 36 instead of just giving a real number. Is it 37? And since I know you're all dying to see the 24,000 year old man's butt... Nope. I'll leave that for you to discover. As usual, this comes with some extra hands in different poses. Eight in total, all painted pretty nicely. They always miss the fingernails though. Next up, we have his white wizard staff. There's not too much to it, but it looks the part. And I didn't notice in person, but while editing this video, I noticed that the inside of the top area has something in it. It almost looks like supports for a 3D print. I'm not sure how they made this, but I just thought that was interesting. And then, of course, we have the faux hammer, the beater, glamdring that comes with a white scabbard. And if you're wondering, yes, his sword is metal. 
It looks pretty identical to the Glamdring that came with the other Crown series Gandalf, just except for the white scabbard, but it looks pretty good. I will say, I wish they could have put a dot of blue paint where the gemstone should be, but oh well. This does come with some basic instructions, but in case you'd like a video reference, here's how to attach the sword to his belt. You basically just alternate the loops. The belt is actually pretty snug on the scabbard and doesn't feel like it'll come off easy, unlike some of their other figures. So if you don't want to pose him on the horse, Asmus provided a nice base with this. It's essentially an off-white base that has some green flocking material glued on top of some texture paste. And then on the front is a chrome mirror plaque with Gandalf's name. I like it. It's much better than those typical plain black bases that we've gotten with other Asmus figures that just has the Lord of the Rings logo on it. And now for Shadow Facts. Like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of getting horses with figures as it sort of gives me some My Little Pony vibes, but if ever there was an exception, I guess it would be for the Lord of All Horses, Shadowfax. To be honest though, this actually is pretty well done. For his mane and tail, it's got some fake blonde hair, and then all over his body is a sculpted fur, and the sculpt looks pretty good. When compared to the version seen on screen, it's missing some black specks here and there, but ultimately I think this is still pretty good for a horse. I did notice it seems that some of the hair got stuck to the body, and then when I went to unstick it, it pulled a bit of the paint off. I'm not really sure what could be done about that, but it's something to watch out for. And now for some comparisons. On the left is the Crown series Gandalf the Grey, Right, Crown Series Gandalf the White. The immediate thing that sticks out to me is just how much better the head sculpt is of the White. While I do think the Grey does a pretty decent job of representing Sir Ian McKellen, the White is simply spot on. And when put next to the Grey, sort of just shows how off the Grey's head sculpt is. As far as clothing goes, I think they're both equally good. Though if I had to pick which was the better clothing, I would probably say the Grey. But that's sort of biased, because when I think of Gandalf, I think of the Grey. So it's really just influenced by my preference of character instead of the clothing accuracy. For the base though, I'll say I prefer the Grey. Simply because it's more interesting and comes with not only some vegetation, but a mailbox and gate. Even if I had to get a custom stand to hold them. When considering price, the gray is $30 cheaper, but then again you have to remember you're getting shadow facts with the white. So it really comes down to your preference of what you think is the better accessory. So overall, I think this is probably the best figure Asmus has released. It really does capture the likeness of Sir Ian McKellen. The face sculpt, the rooted hair, the paint job, his clothing, and honestly the horse even turned out better than I was expecting. So it's really hard to find anything I don't like. This checks a lot of boxes for me. If I have to be really nitpicky, I'd say perhaps his eye color could be a shade lighter. A few of his extra hands seem to be sort of webbed. I would prefer the base to be slightly wider to allocate more room for some other poses, but really all these things are negligible and don't really change my overall opinion. I give this a 9.5 out of 10. I'd like to give it a 10, but I'm reserving that for things that I think are absolutely perfect. And although this is almost there, it's not perfect, but man is it great. I want to also mention that if you own the previous release Gandalf the White, Asmus is actually selling an upgradable head that you can purchase for $120. Whether you think it's worth $120 is up to you, but there's no doubting that this is the greatest face sculpt they've done when it comes to accuracy. 
I would really love if Asmus could give an updated head for the Gandalf the Grey using this head sculpt. I would really consider getting it if they did. If you collect Asmus toys and are thinking of picking this guy up, I say go for it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Although eventually it looks like Inart may pick up the title for having the best Gandalf, it definitely won't beat the price of this. Plus, with this, you get a horse. Until that's released though, I think this is the best. We'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and hit that like button or consider subscribing. Since you made it this far in the video, I suggest heading on over to the community tab of my channel as I currently have a giveaway ongoing that will end very soon. Have a great Friday everyone, until next time, bye bye.